Okay, you're live. Video? Okay, hi, this is Michelle Taberge, and we're gonna learn how to wash artist brushes. I just finished a demonstration, and what's your name? Patty. Patty. So Patty is going to wash brushes. She's new to this, and I thought this is great. I can show everyone breast practice for. So here's what you want to ideally do. We didn't do great with this because I was talking and teaching, but when I'm in my studio, I try to only put the brushes in the water once I've wiped them with a towel a rag or a cloth. So we're going to wipe them off. The reason being is that the less paint that goes down into the drain, the better for plumbing and for the environment. So we want to clean off the brushes and the knives before we put them in the water and get less acrylic down the drain. Does it matter if we use the same paper towel for the different brushes? Or no, I yeah, it's just fine as long as it's not goopy. Yeah. And, um, one thing also to keep in mind is with acrylic brushes, you do kind of have to keep them in the water all the time because they'll dry out. And so you want to have, usually I have a stack of paper towels and when I'm working, I just wipe things off and then toss them in the water. And then once it's time to clean up, I have rarely had a studio with a sink in it. So I can actually do this with very little water in my own studio and I usually have a cup and I put liquid dish soap in it and I um, rub the bristles in there. But today, because I'm in a regular sink in a classroom, we're gonna use the bar soap like this. And so what I'll do is, now it's still a little damp. I might need to dampen it yet again. And so I'm just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna rub it on there. Now this is, um, the Masters, it's a brand of, it's actually a hand soap, but because it fits easily into my soap box, I use it for this. Try not to get in the habit, it's so tempting to rub it on your palm, but use a container because you don't want to grind pigment into your skin. So we're going to, and so you see the lather's coming out pretty clean, it means there's not a lot of color in there. So we'll demonstrate this by putting some fresh water in here. Beautiful color going down the drain. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get clean water in here. This and, and rinse it out. Okay. And I like to use warm water because the binder in acrylics is like a glue. Think of it like Elmer's glue. And so sometimes the warm water in the soap is really needed. Just rinsing them in clear water isn't always enough to get the, the um, acrylic out. You may get the color out and think, oh, good, we're done. Um, <laughs> but what happens is the acrylic binder is clear and you can't even see it. So what do you think, Patty? Do you see color in there? Do you think there's still color in the bit. brush? Yeah. So we're just going to maybe rinse it. And then, do you want to try rubbing it on the, on the soap? Sometimes, I used to use ivory soap because it's white, and I'm able to really see when there's still color in the brush. Um, so ivory soap works well, just regular dish soap. Some people use shampoo. Any kind of soap and water is good for yeah, your brushes. There's a very light pigment in there. Do you do another rinsing you know, for a while? I think we That's should rinse. That's a large rinse. brush. Yeah. Let's rinse it in the water. It's probably pretty good. And then do you want to get rid of this color in the soap? Well, it, it like might. I don't worry about out. it. I don't worry about it. I kind of tend to just know, like, when it's getting clean or not. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to trouble you too much with that. But oh, here, I don't mind. Um, try that one. You can see, you can start to see some of the color. Mm -hmm. The lighting's not that great back here, so I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. There's a little bit of red coming out of there, and she's doing a great job of kind of using it on it. See how she's doing it on the side? And what's happening is some of the paint is coming up out of the ferrule. This metal part is called a ferrule. And what happens is, especially as you leave the brushes in the water while you're painting, paint gets forced up into the ferrule. And then she's cleaning it and encouraging it to come out with the warm water and the soap. Sometimes, though, even with the best practices and washing them rigorously every time you paint, they still get crusty towards the end. I mean, this is still quite flexible, so this one's doing pretty well. But occasionally I have to do a deeper cleaning, and I did a whole separate video on that called How to Get Acrylic Paint Out of Your Brushes. And even if the brush is hard and completely dried 
and you think it'll never come back with the um, technique I show you there, you can actually get them back to soft and usable again. So, does that help? Any questions? Okay, great. And then these ones might not need soap. They, I usually just, you know, rinse them and use a towel. Like this has a little dried on it, and um, I'm not that nice to my fingernails. <laughs> you could use another knife if you really have a nice manicure and you're very careful. And... Not me. <laughs> my hands are in the dirt a lot. So, um, yeah, so you just clean these off. These plastic knives, those don't come clean. You can wipe the stuff off, but the color kind of bonds to the plastic, so that's just fine. Those will be fine. I prefer the metal knives, and that's what I use mostly, but I, I have some of these for teaching because I go through so many in one talk. Okay, so is that enough info? Great, thank you. I hope that helps. Make sure you wash your brushes every time you finish painting. It's important. Soap and water.